This time I got a 9 cat in Minecraft, and the best thing is you can actually ride it. So let's see how I did it. Well, as you may have guessed, I used a bunch of entities stacked on top of a minecart. But what entities did I use? Well, let me show you. First things first, the minecart. Then we'll use some invisible slimes, just to spawn these minecarts with a command block, just a bit higher. Then again, a lot of slimes. For now, I'll keep them visible. The next entity will be the fireworks rocket entity, to give the 9 cat a nice trail. Now I'll use an inverted slime, so the next entities will spawn a bit lower. That way the rocket spawns inside the cat. And yet another inverted slime to spawn this pig a bit lower, so that its saddle will be just above the cat. We'll make the pig invisible as well, because as you can see the saddle will still be visible. So that are all the entities we're gonna spawn. This is the entire command. Well, yeah, that's a bit long. I'll put that in a text editor for you. Man, that's a lot of text. Okay, we start with the pig. First we'll give it a cell, so set this to 1. And this is gonna make sure it becomes invisible. So as you can see, I put that on all these slimes over here as well. The next one will be this slime. We'll set invulnerable to 1. And we'll set the size to minus 2, so we'll be inverted. And we'll make it invisible. The next mob will be the cat, so set the ID to Ocelot. We'll set cat type to 3, so we'll get the grey cat that looks the most like the 9 cat. And we'll set owner to me, or basically anything. The next mob will be the slime, and we'll make it invulnerable and set the size to minus 2 again. And then we'll spawn the fireworks rocket entity. We'll set lifetime to 32,000, that way it will stay there for a very long time. Now we'll spawn the invulnerable slimes with the size set to 0, so that's the smallest one, but it's not inverted, and we'll make them all invisible again. And then we'll get to the minecarts with a command block. And this is the command that is inside the command block. Basically what it's doing, it's summoning an item about 16 and a half blocks above the minecart. As you can see here, uh, its ID is set to 35, so that's wool, and this is the color. We'll set H to 5800. And usually I set count to 1, but this time we won't do that, because then you can pick up the drops. And this is the motion, uh, that those are just a bunch of random numbers, so it's got a bit of a random look. And these are just the same slimes we used above. And then we'll get to the minecart writable. These are a lot of end brackets. Those are there because, as you can see, this is the begin bracket of writing and it does not have an end bracket. So basically it's a writing tag inside a writing tag inside a writing tag inside a writing tag and so on and so on. Now all you have to do is copy the command and put it in the command block and now make sure it gets fired once you right click the spawn egg. But first you'll have to give yourself the spawn egg and that's done using this command. Now create a new objective that has the criteria type stat dot use item 383 and then just attach this command to a clock that's gonna make sure your score is going to be set back to zero once you right click the egg and it's gonna turn on the comparator which is gonna spawn the 9 cat. So yeah that's it I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. Okay.